Hello, my friends. I'm Carly, and today I'm joined by Ben and Ted from Mumford & Sons. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thanks it's for pleasure. having us. It's nice, isn't it? It is. It's lovely, yeah. It is. Cozy vibe. It's Sunday, so there's not a lot of people around. Mm -hmm. Just us, you know, working for the dollar. That's right. Uh, so it's the Delta Tour. You're here in Toronto to play two shows at the Scotiabank Arena. It used to be called the ACC. It's mm -hmm. a big room, mm -hmm. uh, but not the first time you've played there. The first time was back in 2011 when it was a really big room for Mumford and Sons. It was the biggest room we'd ever played at the time. Yeah, the do you first, remember that show? Yeah, the yeah. first arena. We'll never forget it. Yeah, it was really poignant. We celebrated by playing Risk afterwards on our phones. We were totally like overwhelmed and we couldn't even talk to each other and we were just like, to play Risk, yeah, sweet. We just like played Risk on our, on the app. To try and chill out a bit or to yeah. take it to the limit? I don't know how you feel about Risk. Yeah, I mean, it was a pretty no, extreme it was great. game. It risk, got, got quite intense towards yeah. the end of that game of Risk. But, you yeah. know, the gig as well was also a highlight of that evening. Um, <laughs> but I, yeah. remember, I remember saying at the time, like, we just weren't sure whether we could, um, whether we could transition out of the theatres into that, into that space. And the show was so like warm and mm. like exciting, quite overwhelming as Ted says, but um, we, didn't, we just didn't look back after that. And then we, we kind of had, it gave us the confidence to go and do that show in London and New York and yeah. yeah. So thanks Toronto. Yeah. yeah. So how do you feel walking into that room tomorrow? Obviously completely different, no nerves, no risk. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should the risk. There's always an element of risk. I think, um, we're doing something slightly different with our show, so we've moved the stage to the middle of a room. We're playing it around now, um, which is, again, something that, that we have to get used to. It's kind of strange, it's kind of interesting, but we're enjoying it a lot. It's, it's basically halving the size of these rooms because the farthest person away is twice as close as they otherwise would have been if the stage was at the end. So um, it's feeling really good. We've, we've done a UK tour with this setup and we've done States and now we're here in Canada. This is the last two shows of a year. Um, so yeah, it's like I feel like whenever we get comfortable, like we got used to doing arenas, you know, after a little while, you're like, all right, we got to we got to get uncomfortable again. We gotta we'll shake it up. Yeah, 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 that's right. Um, well, I heard that the stage has been described as a futuristic pirate ship. Sounds about right. Yeah. Does it? <laughs> Wasn't we the brief. We were trying to like, yeah, yeah, that was not what we were going for, <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> but I would uh, honestly say that some of us had a similar thought when we first saw yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's really funny, though, because all our techs have like little bunkers so they can work on our guitars and stuff and bring them up. And uh, it, it's like, you look around, everyone's got a station. It is, it is literally like you're on a ship and like you can see who's like steering. He's got the controls, right? You're steering. You know, it, it's quite, we got like crew, you know, there's like, it feels very much like a ship. Like, like, but the, but the concept. the concept. Yeah. and the, the, yeah. the bow, the bow. Yeah, you sure. got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the but the concept actually was more, um, how do we just get in and amongst the show as much as possible and democratize the experience so that it mm. doesn't feel like an us and them environment. So we were like, lower the um, the kind of the main performance area. So we dropped it down. People can actually feet. see over, yeah, it's at five feet, so you can see um, to to each other. You can like, so oh. people can see each other. Yeah, so that that gives it kind of that lower, and then and then we wanted to go up into the seats on the sides, so it kind of has that shape. But the the, the concept was wasn't ship. It was um, let's let's just like kind of mold into the shape of a, an arena. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, so you're back in Canada, four shows on this <laughs> tour, and it's a lengthy tour. You leave for a while, you go to Australia, then you come back to Canada. What does Canada mean to Mumford & Sons? It's one of our favorite countries in the world, genuinely. Um, I feel like people really un understand what we're about here. Mm. And um, it's just like full of, I think, very soulful people. I think people are really good here. and. Um, one of the things that we're celebrating, I think, throughout Delta is just how incredible people are in general. Um, we've got this sort of concept that people are awesome in like the true sense of the word awesome. Like, isn't it remarkable what it, what people do with their lives, like in whatever small way or big way? Um, and I think we've realized that more and more as we've grown a bit older. Uh, it's just how amazing everyone is, and uh, and 
perhaps nowadays more than ever, it's good to remember that. You sort of, everyone kind of has got quite tribalistic and it's like, uh, we're this or we're that, or, you know, at the end of the day, we're just people. Um, and I think Canada gets that, the Canadians get that. So we love it. Yeah, these four shows are just the ones we've announced, by the way. There's hopefully going to be more to come. Oh, well, yeah. there you go. There you go. Uh, speaking about people, uh, I would say Mumford & Sons is one of the bands that gets that because so many of these bands shy away from social media. And you've used that platform to create this incredible relationship with your fans. Like, I'm always looking forward to TED Tuesdays. <laughs> cool. And, you know, doing the Instagram Live on Fridays yeah. with the fans. Um, how important is that for you guys? And is there ever a time when one of you takes a video or a picture or something and you're like, I'm going to post this. And somebody else is like, please don't post that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other band gets his phone because he's sort of in charge of Instagram most of the time. So whenever I see Ben with his phone out, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it's, Make up. Yeah. <laughs> Security. <laughs> um, no, it's cool. I, I feel like a lot of people, I feel like when people perceive what it's like to be in the band, and they sort of think, oh, what's it like when, you know, you get recognized by a fan or something like that. It doesn't actually happen very often, but... When it does, I'm always totally amazed at how lovely they are. Like, it, it's, it's that, it comes back to what Ben was just saying. Like, they're just like really nice people most of the time. So, increasingly, we felt a desire to like engage them as people. There's like, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be a weird dynamic sort of band and fan sort of reverence or anything like that. It's just, just really nice people. So it's nice to involve them. You know, we're really passionate about what we get to do, and if people want to share that with us, then we'll invite them in and. You know, awesome. I think the social media, especially Instagram, the, the Live at Fives are awesome. Mm. I'm always there. <laughs> <laughs> You're always watching. <laughs> trying, to, yeah. trying to dial in. Yeah, yeah, come on, don't talk to me, choose me. <laughs> choose me, hearts, yeah. hearts, hearts. Yeah. Oh, if you're not already following Mumford & Sons on Instagram, uh, you should be. Well, congratulations <laughs> again on, on Delta. It's Thank really you. a beautiful piece of work. Thank you. Uh, ben? Pleasure. Ted? Thank you. Thanks. All right, Mumford & Sons.